guys, hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Africa. <laughs> hello, Africa! This is the apartment behind me. But more specifically, I am in Tunisia, and Tunisia is a country in Africa, and it's literally like at the top of the continent. It's literally like the top of Africa, and it's got beautiful coastal, like ocean views, just like surrounding everything. It's colorful here. It's very friendly. The food is fantastic, and there's lots of fish, local fresh fish, like literally everywhere. I love being in Africa. This is my third time here. First time was several, several years ago when I went to Morocco, spent about a month there. Uh, second time was in Egypt in 2019. Oh my gosh, like literally literally bucket list got to see the pyramids and now here here we are in Tunisia I didn't know I would ever come here but Bart has work here so it brought us here so I've been here now for about like three weeks I traveled here with a carry-on literally a carry-on and a personal item having been a flight attendant now for oh my gosh like nine years ah, such a fun job having been a flight attendant for nine years I feel like I know what to pack, what not to pack. I know not to overpack, not to forget certain items that make such a huge difference, whether I'm on vacation, whether I'm going for work. I'll still pack these things because they're so important to me. Okay, so things I will not travel anywhere without. Number one is a good, oh wait, this is backwards, <laughs> is a good uh, carry-on tote bag. This specific tote bag is the Calpec Luca duffel bag, and this is actually the first time that I'm trying this one. I've seen this bag all over Instagram, all over YouTube even, like it's just, people rave about it, it has such good reviews, and having been the first time that I used it, I can honestly say I want it in like every single other color now. I want more of them. This was phenomenal. What an amazing travel bag. Honestly, you guys. And like the literally, like you can travel with almost any bag. But the number one thing I would say when you're getting a travel bag, when you're purchasing one, get one with a zipper. Get one that closes all the way. It has a million pockets in here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see because... It might be dark, I got my whitening <laughs> strips in there, I have my iPad, but tons and tons, ooh, sleep masks, oh, that's another, that should be one of my favorite travel items too, but that's not on this list. But, like, there's so many pockets in here, love that there is a pocket on the outside, gosh, you guys, literally, <laughs> as you guys are seeing this, like, hit me, this is the only con of this bag. These straps, oh my goodness, these straps are like all over the place. They don't just lie flat comfortably. They keep like lifting up. This was the only thing I didn't like about this bag. But when I did go to put this bag like on my shoulder and I'm like walking around, it was so comfortable. These are like kind of padded. So this gave me so much comfort walking around the airport. Okay, so number one, number one most important thing is get a good travel tote bag with tons of zippers, tons of pockets, something that's secure. I really do love that travel tote bag, that's a good one. Number two thing I don't travel without are good travel liquid container holders. <laughs> I probably could have said that a little bit simpler. These are, well, this one is a Cadence travel container and I'm not going to like undo it, but this does come in three different parts. You can undo this part in the middle to make it smaller. You can change out the lid on top of this. This is magnetic. If you look on the website, these are sold in like bunches of like six at a time or four at a time. They come in tons of different colors. I honestly bought my set, it Cadence Mix Bundle set of three from the container store. I didn't buy off their website, which there was like tons more colors and you could switch out like these top lids to be like, um, like this one right now. This one has a little brush on it but you can switch these out to have like a sun sign on it if you wanna put sunscreen in here. You can have a shampoo thing on here if you're gonna fill this with shampoo, conditioner, whatever you want. I have the set of three, but I only brought one because if you are only taking a, a carry-on bag, they're going to give you, 
exhibit A here, in Paris. I had already gone through security at JFK and when I got to Paris, I had to re-go through security to take an international flight out of Paris to Africa. And the guy handed me this bag, which I didn't, I had my liquids were just kind of like all over the place. And he was like, okay, everything has to fit in here. I was like, oh, okay, yes, sir. Let me make it all fit. So I'm so thankful that I only brought one of these and it has to close most of the time. So if you bring a ton of liquid containers, even though it's different liquids in each container, sometimes they might not let you, might not let you bring it. Might make you check your bag because you have too many. These are expensive. This is an expensive brand, but it is definitely worth it. Like I bought this and I will probably never ever have to buy more travel liquid containers because these are it. Bart's back. You can come in. Hey everybody, greetings from Tunis. So tell us a fun fact about Tunisia. Well, uh, it's great food here, so I've been enjoying that and lovely weather right now, so it's, it's been very nice. And what are, what are some of like the fun things that we've already saw and like some of the fun things to do here? Well, we saw the excellent Bardo Museum with all of the Roman mosaics, oh, which yeah, is a must so see cool. if you're in, so in Tunis. Cool. And then we also went to a lot of the Roman ruins, which are which are outstanding and are a must see here. It's like so crazy. Bye, everybody. Bye, love. Back to travel favorites. Had a little cameo from Bart. We just got back from like a meeting, so I was like, I'm gonna film a video. I gotta do my travel favorites. One of the most important things to bring when you are traveling. You could bring any brand. This particular one that I have right now, this water bottle is a Camelback water bottle, but you absolutely do not forget your water bottle. If you do forget your water bottle, don't worry about it because there's always these specialized shops in the airport where you can buy a water bottle and I 100% recommend it. You get so dehydrated when you travel. Like you don't even realize how dehydrated your skin gets. Just like everything is dry. So you really need to keep drinking water. This one is one of my favorites for travel because it's just super lightweight. I do have like the metal ones that keep the water hot or cold for a lot longer. This one doesn't keep the water hot at all. It doesn't keep it cold for too long, but it's the most lightweight. And when I'm packing my travel tote and I'm putting books and laptops and just snacks and so many different things, I want my water bottle to be super light. Okay, forgot to show you this, you guys. This travel tote even has a spot for your water bottle. Next thing I absolutely will not travel without are electronic cord organizers. And these specifically are called gear ties. It's an up close shot of these. These are amazing, you guys. They are just gear ties. They're electronic organizer little cords. And they're so simple. They're literally, it's literally like the most simple thing. It is just a bendable, malleable little stick. You wrap up your cord, you put it through, and you just secure it. And this way, when you're grabbing into your bag or you've got your electronic cord pouch, you're not just pulling out cords, they're all getting stuck, everything's flying everywhere. This just makes sure that all your cords are just super secure and just a little bit more organized. Number five is a reliable lip gloss, you guys. I don't know, like you have to travel with a good lip gloss. Do not wear lipstick on the plane unless you're just going for a short trip or you know, you're not planning on sleeping. You want to look beautiful and glamorous when you travel, but if, if you don't need to do all that and it's a long flight, get a good lip gloss. My, one of my favorites here is Laneige. I recommend when you travel, get a lip gloss that is pretty much clear and that actually works. It's not just like a foo-foo lip gloss. I have a lot of foo-foo lip glosses, but when you travel, get a legit, good, strong, working lip gloss. Next, I always travel with a face spray. This is one of my tried and true favorite. I have been using this Claudine, Claudé, Claudine, I always say it wrong, uh, spray. It is from Paris. I've used this, gosh since the start of my flight attendant days, maybe even 
No, I don't think I knew about this before. I think this, I just started, I was just introduced to it when I started, like what are favorite travel items? Oh, guys, this smells phenomenal. I even sprayed this on my husband <laughs> the other day. He's like, wait, wait, what is it? What is it? Just one spray, one spray. And I just did like a little spray. It's like, oh, I like that. Okay, a few more sprays. Uh, it's just refreshing. It kind of invigorates you. It wakes you up. If you've been sleeping on the plane or napping, you're kind of like, oh, I feel gross. Spray a little bit of this on and I feel like it just wakes up your senses. This is one of my favorites. This is kind of just a bonus. I will also travel with face wipes because these are like multi-purpose. Like this flight, oh, this journey to get to Tunisia, three flights, like I think I had a six hour layover in Paris. I definitely used these to just wipe my face, my neck, just kind of like, I didn't have access to a shower so I had to find some way to kind of get myself a little bit refreshed. So I do also travel with wipes and I love these because these aren't considered a liquid because they're wipes sunscreen. I will not travel without sunscreen and you can get any kind of sunscreen that you want out there. I have been using this one. This one is the Gwyneth Paltrow brand. This is the Super Goop SPF 40. When you go on vacation or when you're traveling or when you're exploring the world, you don't realize how much time you spend outside. Like on a normal day to day, I'm inside, I'm working on my computer, I'm like maybe I'm walking my dog, maybe I'm, I'm going outside to do like some gardening or something. But for the most part, I'm inside and I'm covered and I'm not being exposed to the sun. But when you're on vacation, like Bart and I, we have been out, yes, we've gone to museums, but we've been out exploring Roman ruins, we've been exploring towns, cities, walking around. We're in the sun so much more on vacation. So a sunscreen is something I won't forget. Leads me right into number eight is I always travel with a hat. Now this isn't my favorite, I put this on right now, this isn't like my favorite travel hat. I normally travel with the distressed version of the hats and you guys have probably seen them on my travel or my like fly with Stella videos. I always get like the distressed version. This trip, I literally got to the airport. I was on the phone with my husband. I'm like, oh my God, I forgot, I forgot my hat. I, like I literally can't travel without my hat. I don't, I, li I have 10 hats at home. How could I forget my hat? Literally forgot my hat. So I got to JFK airport. I'm like, okay, it's, a, it's fine. I get to JFK airport. They have tons of Yankee hats, Mets hats. I will find a hat. So this is more like kind of a traditional baseball cap. I do like my distress, but I guess the moral of the story is you don't need to overpack. You don't need to remember everything. Don't be so hard on yourself because if you do forget something, you can always, almost always find it at the airport. They know that you need these things for your trip, for your vacation. Next, I always pack myself a packable handbag that can be used for multiple occasions. Now, this is the Louis Vuitton Speedy Nano. I recommend traveling with a small bag. You do not want to be out exploring Roman ruins and ancient civilizations and Roman museums with a super heavy bag that you've got like so much stuff in. So I recommend a super small, compact little bag, something that if you want can be handheld, but can also go uh, crossbody. I am out exploring, walking around a hands-free bag so I can touch and feel and explore other things is definitely the way to go. Packable, small, lightweight bag. Don't be bringing a heavy leather bag. I recommend just a small, lightweight one. Last item I never travel without are flip-flops. And I don't care where you're going. I don't care if you're going to Alaska, if you're going to like literally the coldest place in the world, bring flip-flops. You will need them. I always bring them because sometimes I'll wake up in the morning if I'm at a hotel and I just want to go downstairs, grab a cup of coffee. I don't want to put my tennis shoes on. I don't want to like mess with laces and, and all these things. I just want to throw on some flip-flops and go. Or if I'm at Let's say I'm traveling to Alaska. I've actually never been to Alaska. It is on my bucket list. I really do wanna go. My airline flies there. I don't know why I haven't gone there. But if you are at a hotel and let's say you're getting a massage, you're going to the pool, you're going to a sauna, whatever, you're gonna want flip flops. If you just have tennis shoes and you're like, hi, I'm going to the sauna. Well, you can't go in with tennis shoes. You're gonna have to go bare feet. So I always travel with flip flops. These are just Javianas. This is one of my favorite colors because it's just like really low key and it kind of like blends in with my skin color. This is 
either rose gold or this is like the brown color. Gosh, I hate to say goodbye to you from Africa. Like, here's a little shot of the apartment behind me. I would show you guys like the whole thing, but it's a mess. No, no, we're not going there. But you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for hanging out with me and watching and interacting. Love all your comments. And yeah, I will see you next time. I will probably be back in Virginia. I do have my flight booked to go back. So head in back home, but I'll come back. I'll be back here. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.